Hello and welcome to another slide video from the Cornish Radio Amateur Club. Today we'll be looking at FETs for the Advanced Certificate from the RSGB and we'll be making reference to the RSGB uh, training manual which um, uh, is available from the RSGB called Advance. So let's have a look at the symbol for an FET. The FET has a source, a gate and a drain. Uh, it's made up, in this instance, of a central core of N-type material and around that may be wrapped a very thin insulating layer, which is now shown on your screen. Now, the insulating layer is only there in the case that the FET is an IGFET, an insulated gate FET. If it's just a normal FET, then that layer will be missing. In either case, around the um, either the insulator or around the uh, substrate, the N-type substrate, will be a wrapping of P-type material, which is shown there in green, and that forms a gate. So what you have on your screen there is a diagram of the symbol, and corresponding to the symbol, the structure in a slightly symbolic way, of the uh, FET itself. Let's continue to look at the FET, but let's look at it, uh, instead of in a 3D way, in a 2D way. So, there we have the um, N-type substrate, the N-type material, which corresponds to the inner grey material in the 3D representation. And if it were an IGFET, there's a symbol there, and we would have, around the um, N-type material, some insulated, uh, insulating material. This is very useful, as IGFETs can then have very high impedance, but we'll come on to that in a minute. So there's the P-type material forming the uh, outer cylinder, and that, that's sandwiched then onto the N-type material. So there is the FET. So with the FET, because we have essentially a PN junction, we'll have some depletion layers, and they're shown there in yellow. And these depletion layers will form just because the P and the N are next to each other. It's happening in much the same way as we get the depletion layer around the base region of a bipolar transistor. If we put a circuit around the um, FET and we go from uh, source to drain, uh, thus um, we will get uh, current flowing, sorry, I beg your pardon, we will get current flowing through the um, uh, FET. We'll show that again. We put the um, depletion layers there and uh, put a circuit on and we can see the electrons are then able to flow uh, easily uh, from the uh, source through to the drain. This is because the depletion layers haven't squeezed off the channel, the N channel in the FET. If we bias the FET and we bias the gate by putting a negative, um, a net negative uh, voltage on the gate, as shown, then that brings in the depletion layers. And now the end channel is pinched off. It's tapered because of the voltage drop along the channel. And now what happens to the electrons? They try and flow up through the FET, but they're pinched off because the um, uh, FET is biased uh, negatively, the gate is negatively biased. So, the features of the FET. Um, first of all, it's normally reverse biased, so gate forward current is zero, but there can be a small reverse current leakage. So the input impedance is very high, several hundred mega ohms. 
The example that we showed was a depletion mode N-channel FET. The small signal on the gate increases the depletion there and reduces the current from source to drain. The IGFET, the one I mentioned earlier, which has the insulating layer between the N-type uh, substrate and the uh, P-type uh, gate wrapped around it, uh, the IGFET has even higher input impedance as the gate is insulated from the substrate and leakage current is further reduced. And that can have uh, input impedances of several gigaohms. An enhancement mode FET starts off with the depletion layers pinching off the current so that forward bias is needed to get the FET to conduct. And We've shown that there on the screen, that we've put a small plus or positive charge, positive voltage on the gate to allow the gates to open slightly and to allow um, a current to go through. So you can see that uh, FETs so far come in several flavours, IGFETs with insulated gates, standard FETs, we can have N-channel uh, FETs where the main substrate is N-channel, that's the one we've just seen. We can have P-channel, where everything is effectively reversed. Um, and we can also have uh, dual-gate FETs. So the FET that we've been looking at so far has had a, a source, a drain and a single gate. But here on your screen you can see both the symbol and the 2D representation of a dual gate FET and it's exactly the same as a single gate FET but it has the addition of an extra gate and they're just simply labeled gate 1 and gate 2. Gate 1 is normally used as normal um, and gate 2 uh, is either slightly uh, positive, has a slightly positive voltage or is sometimes used for a, signal, a second signal input and if you have had a look at the, uh, I think it is receivers D, where we look at the mixer, the structure of a mixer, uh, one of the options there is to use a dual gate FET for mixing. So let's have a little look at uh, an FET amplifier. There on your screen you have uh, an FET amplifier. And the gate source uh, junction, you will notice, is reverse biased. The voltage on the gate is 3.2 volts, and the voltage on the uh, source is 4.5 volts. So it's reverse biased. Um, the FET input impedance is high, particularly if uh, an IGFET was used. That isn't the symbol for an IGFET, but if an IGFET had been used there, uh, the input impedance would be very high. And the input impedance is actually determined, because it's so high for the device itself, the input impedance ends up getting uh, determined by the bias chain. So that's, in this case, a 2.7 mega ohm resistor and 560 kilo ohm resistor. That is actually determin determining the input impedance rather than the um, uh, device itself. So using a single resistor, could increase impedance. Now we can have a single resistor going back from the uh, drain to the gate and that may provide a, um, a, the uh, appropriate biasing but give a, a higher impedance then to the uh, input circuit. So there we have a dual insulated gate FET amplifier. And so you can see there gate 1 being used as normal uh, and gate 2 um, having some bias on it. So gate 1 is used as normal. Gate 2 either has a slight positive voltage or is sometimes used for a second signal input. Now then, it only remains to look at um, safety and static hazards for FETs. This isn't personal safety, this is safety of the device. Um, although having said that, um, there is a safety implication which we'll talk about in just a second. 
So IGFETs and CMOS devices in general uh, can be destroyed by high voltages. Um, and the voltages can be as small as 5 to 10 volts, but I think that would be fairly unusual. Um, the average person shuffling around uh, carries static charge of se several kilovolts, particularly on a dry day and if uh, dissimilar materials are used, such as uh, nylon slippers on a woolen carpet or something like that. So um, here we have it, static uh, build-up due to plastic shoes, nylon carpet, etc. can increase this to as much as 50 kilovolts. So um, you'll find that when they're delivered, they're delivered in uh, anti-static bags, uh, which are conductive, which don't allow any static build-ups in any particular area, and therefore won't provide high voltages across the junctions. And then the final point here is where anti-static wristband and less working on HT. Now an anti-static wristband is a band that goes around the wrist and connects to earth. And it connects to earth via a high value resistor built into the band itself. So this provides a degree of safety, but if you're working on high tension, in other words very high voltages, it isn't a good idea to wear a static band because that increases, for example, of uh, electric shock, ac uh, shock across the heart. If you had a shock on your left hand and the band on your right hand, then that might be the um, least uh, path of le least resistance for the current to flow. And remember, mills uh, volts jolt, but mills kill. So there we are. Thank you once again for listening to this um, slide video from the Cornish Radio Amateur Club.